Okay, what I want to go over in this video is how to check your work and apply dimensions to a drawing that you've created. So as we look at our little drawing from our lesson, you can see we've got some critical dimensions that we need to verify. Now as we drew this out in Mastercam, we could feel pretty confident that we we were offsetting lines to the correct distance and whatnot, but every once in a while you you may get distracted or something and you might offset a line to an incorrect dimension. And with Mastercam, when we produce toolpaths, we don't necessarily need any dimensions on our, on our drawing. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to verify these dimensions. And um, I'm also going to go into some details on how you can put dimensions on this geometry and hide it at a later time. That way it's not in the way whenever you're creating toolpaths. Okay, so we'll move this out of the way. And we're going to start, we're going to go to Drafting, Smart Dimension. With Smart Dimension, you can simply grab the line and rubber band out and snap to a location to apply a dimension. It's as easy as that. You can see here, I'm just checking a few of these. It'll also allow you to grab an endpoint to an endpoint, like that. And this gets in the way sometimes, just drag it out of the way. Okay, and I'm just going to use my mouse to roll out a little bit. And click, click. And you can see how this is not doing what I want it to do because these dimensions are not on a horizontal plane. So you can come over here and you can change this to automatic and it will predict how you want that dimension to be. And it's, it's pretty good. You know, here it'll do an alignment. Here's your horizontal and then you can snap over and do a vertical. You can also uh, force it to do horizontal or vertical or parallel. Okay. And I'm just going to go through and just kind of slap some dimensions on. Nothing proper about the way I'm putting these dimensions on. I'm just using them to check. All right. What else do we have? We've got from here to here. Perfect. Okay. So as you can see, that's that would not pass <laughs> if you were getting graded on dimensioning. This would, would get you a big fat F probably. But it does give us the information that we're after, which is have we drawn this piece of geometry correct? I'm going to show you a couple quick tips on how to change up your uh, geometry or dimensions on the screen as far as attributes go. For instance, right now everything's green. It's a little difficult to look at. So I'm going to show you how to change the line weight of the part that uh, your, your main part of geometry. If you hold down the shift key at the keyboard and select the geometry, as long as it's a closed loop, it'll go all the way around. We can then right click and we can come up here to our attributes uh, pop up that comes up and we can change the line weight. So I'm going to make this the third one down and you can see now the line weight is a little bit heavier for the geometry. Okay, so let's hide these dimensions. I'll show you how to do that. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my toolpaths manager and you can see it's the first tab that's up and I also have planes and levels. Now if you do not have these three tabs you can go to view and you can turn on the different managers in this little dialog box here. So if levels is turned off, what I want you to do is turn levels back on and you'll now have that as a tab. This is going to allow us to create a new level by selecting this little add new level button. And this level is going to be our dimension level. And I'm just going to put dims on there like that. Okay, and it's level number two visible as well as level one. You'll also notice that over here on the right hand side it shows that we have 17 entities that are assigned to that level one that's visible. Okay so let's come over here and we're gonna grab each one of our dimensions and I'm just selecting them. You can see I have them all highlighted and I'm now gonna right click and I'm going to make sure I'm on the DIMS level. Whoop, let me do that again. Right click, 
and we're going to select this little button here that says change level. All right, and we're going to move those dimensions. I'm going to turn this off and we're going to move it to number two. You don't want this use active level on at this point. We're going to turn that off and we're going to tell Mastercam to move the current dimensions to level two. It doesn't know what level they're on when you by just selecting them. So turn that off, click move, select the number of the level you want to move to, click OK. And now if you look up here, you can see I've moved seven entities over to that second dimension level. All right, now if I select this little X at this point, I can turn that off, but you can't turn off a level when it's the active level. level. So I'm going to select that to make level one our active level again, and then I can turn off the dimensions from our levels. And there you go. So uh, just a quick and easy way to have various levels, just like you would in, in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, they're called layers, not levels. And uh, they just allow you to hide geometry that you don't want to see all the time. Okay. Thank you.